Pence Wealth Management President Leila Pence joins us now from Newport Beach, California. Leila, good to have you back. So despite the fact that we are seeing, of course, the banking turmoil with regional lenders still unfolding. At the same time, we saw core PCE numbers today higher than expected. Jobless claims also unexpectedly dropping. So should we be prepared for at least one more rain hike come May? Yes, I think the Fed is committed to a quarter percent rise here next Wednesday. But we do think they're going to pause. Uh, we do think that what happened in the banking crisis that we have kind of created already an extra quarter percent increase. Uh, so they don't need to go anymore. Uh, of course, they're going to be data dependent, uh, but the numbers and certainly the GDP numbers today uh, give comfort for the Fed to only do a quarter percent next, you know, next Wednesday and pause after that. Earnings are coming in better than expected, but at the same time, if we're expecting an economic slowdown later in the year, are we getting a little bit ahead of ourselves? Well, it, it's sector by sector. We're certainly seeing the big tech uh, do quite well in their earnings, but we're also seeing quite a bit of other companies who are slowing down. And, and certainly we see housing already in the recession, in our opinion. So, but all the effective interest rates are going to start showing up in the economy and we will have a slowdown, which we really need so that we can get inflation under control and actually get a potential interest rate decrease next year. So I guess the message is to, uh, to be selective. What do you look at? Where do you put money to work right now? Well, we really like big tech, uh, certainly a tremendous amount of growth. And we like defense. Defense spending is going to increase dramatically. Uh, U.S. is increasing the spending and as well as Europe. And then we, we really like healthcare as well. Um, that tends to do well, regardless whether they're slowing in the economy. And for the very first time, we're actually looking at international. Um, uh, Sherry mentioned before, and you discussed also some of the uh, the macro shadows that are being cast over the investing environment at the moment. And I guess another one of them uh, is the debt ceiling, which just seems to be getting uh, closer and closer with no resolution in sight. But history suggests that this always gets sorted out eventually. Is this something you spend a lot of time thinking about? Well, I, I, we do spend some time thinking about it because it will create some volatility until they get it done. It always has before. They will definitely approve it at some point in time, but it could provide some buying opportunities in areas possibly with big tech again that we like. So it's something we definitely watch. Uh, investors are uncomfortable with it and will get nervous. And anytime they are nervous, it will be opportunity for us to add to some of our favorite sectors. Leila, when you say you're for the very first time looking at international, do you mean international developed or emerging markets? Uh, mostly IFA. Mostly IFA. The IFA index right now is selling at 13 times PE ratio versus the S&P, which is 18 and percent. Normally, there's about a 12 percent discount in terms of earnings of, that we can expect. But this high of a differential between the two is actually a 27 percent discount that the IFA is having over the S&P. So there's they're certainly, for the first time, we're looking at positioning some assets there. And they, if uh, companies tend to pay higher dividends in the U.S., so we're, we're actually looking at that uh, seriously. Do you, uh, how are you factoring in dollar strength? Well, once the, uh, the Fed stops raising interest rates the, and potentially dollar interest rate inc decreases next year, that we think the dollar will actually decrease, which will make international investing very attractive. All right, Pence Wealth Management President Leila Pence there. Thanks so much for joining us.